The green and gold flew high and proud on the first day of autumn. The boys of fall ready to continue the winning ways they had begun in summer. There was a little extra excitement in the air as the South Florida family came together to celebrate yet another football Saturday because it was time to start conference play. The East Carolina Pirates were in town, the Bulls' first opportunity to shine among their American Athletic Conference brothers, as they have for several years, and a chance to do something no team in the state had done before. Should USF win, this would be their 150th win. They'd be the fastest in the state of Florida to win 150 games. They'd do it in game 255. And Raymond James Stadium is certainly the Bulls' house, where they were looking to win for the 19th time in their last 22 home games. And ECU will get the ball first to start the evening. Under pressure, tries that pattern down the middle. It's going to bust loose. And there is the tight end. Watley to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Not the start they had hoped for, but if there's one thing that's a given about the 2018 Bulls, it's their patience. And East Carolina would test it. On second and 10, this is going to be a straight keeper with Herring, and he is going to get dumped for a loss. The Pirates' respect for the high-powered USF offense was evident as they tried to play a ball control game and keep it out of the Bulls' hands. It may have worked statistically for a while, but not in results. Ford is about 5'5", bouncing off tacklers, and a big gain down to the 16-yard line. Third goal. Barnett, there he goes. Touchdown, Bulls. Blake Barnett is among the national leaders in passing, but he can do it with his legs as well as his arm. In fact, the Bulls running game is ranked in the top 10 nationally for three straight years. Barnett going to fire. He's going to find a man open. That will be a first down, 34-yard line to catch by a redshirt freshman who has been an early sensation, Randall St. Felix, out of Miami. That's his 17th catch already this year. St. Felix's career is off to a roaring start, and he has upper-class leadership to follow at his position. Barnett wants to go long. Got it. Why? open and this is going to be a touchdown for Darnell Solomon. No stranger to the end zone. It's the third straight game. Solomon has caught a touchdown pass and it gave the Bulls their first lead at 13-7. Now it was up to the defense to protect it. Empty backfield here for the Pirates. Third down, they're going to call it six. Down long and inter almost intercepted by Hampton. And the decision to go for it on fourth and six. Bulls rush four. They go the other way toward the mark. Going to be close. Brought down short. South Florida had put up over 100 points through their first three wins, but they were showing adaptability. In a defensive battle, Charlie Strong's team was proving there was more than one way to win a game. Their pass rush started the day ranked 14th in the country in sacks, and they got a huge one just before halftime. Down he goes, sacked, and the timeout. Scotty Montgomery, a third of the way on the field to make the call on the timeout as Josh Black came in unblocked. USF led by three at halftime, but by the fourth quarter, it was tied at 13. The Bulls needed a player or two to step up, and they had more than a few volunteers. Quick throw. And Hampton broke it up. Henley was the intended receiver. The defense made the stop. If the offense was going to rise up as well, they would have to do it with terrible field position. This is an absolutely near perfect kick. But the Bulls had a nearly perfect solution. This is where he cranks it up. We'll see if he's still got that in him. He cranks out a throw here to the flat, and now... Antoine gets across the 15-yard line. First, a little breathing room on the field, then a little breathing room on the scoreboard. Up and through! Quack right! 30, 20, 10, and that's the way it is! Touchdown, USF! Bulls Nation was loving it as Ray J was electrified by Conkright's run. 
They were ready to continue the day-long football party, but there was also a lot of time left. Charlie Strong knew what that meant. There was a lot of work left as well. Pressure coming, it's picked up. Quick throw, and it's knocked away! USF holds! Mazzy Wilkins knocked it down. It's times like these that the discipline and hard work of everyday practice shows itself as habit. It's times like these that the belief in one another and the coaching staff pays off. 2.05 is the official time. Here we go. Herring, first throw is intercepted at the 43-yard line. Nick Roberts comes up with a football. The redshirt freshman from Jacksonville could not have picked a better time for his first career interception. USF stays undefeated. They go to 1-0 in the American, and they're 4-0 overall. They were in the also receiving votes category when the latest polls came out. And they would get even more votes after winning for the 20th time in their last 25 conference games. The best record in the American. Yo, hey, four no, four no. Let's go back, look. Let's go back, look. And coming up, a week off to enjoy it.